It's the Pizza here, and this is another StarCraft 2 commentary. And this is another game that I played. It's going to be me versus Zero Kitty. It's going to be a PvZ on Kulas Ravine. And, uh, yeah, I don't really like this map too much because, uh, the natural is so open. Because you got these two entrances here and here and uh, you can also if you have some uh, reapers or something like that you can abuse these cliffs really bad so I don't really like playing on this map too much so I already um, got my pylon down and I usually send my probe that I build the pylon with to go out in scout excuse me and so of course I scout this one first then I scout this base then I scout this base, and this person being a decent Terran walls off before I even get to their base, I think. Either that or I'm just able to slip through before they complete the wall in. So I'm just like, okay, no one's there. So I got my gateway down, and I'm getting a 12 gate. And this person is getting an 8 racks. Hmm. It's actually really interesting. Getting a barracks at 8 supply. I also got that very early gas. So now I send my probe over here. I'm just like, okay, not there either. <sighs> I hate that when you scout every single base on the map except your opponents. So I just get my gas because what I was planning to do was to put some early pressure on with Zelos and then see how much damage I could do with those Zelots and then you know I guess play it by ear from there and decide what to do next so I'm not sure if this is actually tight just as he lays down the supply depot yes it is so my probe got there just like a couple seconds too late but you know you can see that he's uh he's already getting some reapers out and <laughs> I start shocking this SCV building the supply depot which I should have been doing earlier actually because then I would have been able to kill it and delay that supply depot which wouldn't have done much but it still would have distracted the other player so now I got my probe just chilling out here seeing what's going on what are those guys called the flying units and anyway so now there's a reaper out and he takes out my probe very quickly so I've got one Zealot out, got a Cybernetics core already, and of course I'm supply blocked until this pylon goes in, and I'm also getting another gateway. I think I already have, yep, I already have three probes on gas, and he's got two uh, refineries up and running. Now an engineering bay. Now let me go to the production tab. I like, like that one. It makes it easy so I don't have to scroll over everything. So he's getting one Reaper. I'm getting a Twilight Council. Two more gateways, uh, zealots, and uh, yeah, that's it. And so he's getting just some SCVs and some reapers. So working on the economy and the army, and there's the reapers, looking cool as ever. I'm surprised he hasn't got the nitro packs upgrade yet. It's only 50 minerals and 50 gas. That's like the essential upgrade for reapers. Now I'm sending out this probe to build a proxy pylon so I can warp in units. And I decided to place it over here. I was kind of debating against that because that just seems like the obvious place to check. Because, you know, it's behind the grass, so you would assume that someone's going to be hiding something there. So I was kind of thinking maybe hiding it somewhere over here, but I thought that'd be too far away from the base. Then I was thinking, you know, maybe hiding it right here. Then if he just pushes out, he'll see it, so I just eventually settled right there. And the pylon's done, warp gate research is on the way. And chrono boosting the warp gate research like I should have been doing before. And building another proxy pylon, I always build more than one. Because if they take out one, then, uh, you know, you can't warp in any more units anywhere near their base. So I always build two or three proxy pylons 
And they've got quite a few zealots on the field, good number, but reapers will destroy zealots without charge. So I believe I am getting charged though, yes I am. And he's getting uh, weapon upgrades level 1. And he, has he got the nitro packs yet? No, it still does not have the nitro packs. So that's quite interesting, I'm surprised. But he's got a uh, armor already queued up for the for the reapers. Hmm. So I'm putting my zealots over here, and you see I've already got warp gates done. My base, and there's a forge going down. So I can get some upgrades, because I've been neglecting upgrades for a while in my, in my uh, play. And now here, I'm going to wait for charge to finish before I start the attack. Now I know he walled off, but I figured I might be able to break through. But this is actually really good wall in, because... This supply depot is near impossible to get to because you can only fit maybe two or three zealots in that little gap. And if anything, uh, this tech lab would actually probably be the weak point, which is what I should have attacked, but you'll see in a moment that I actually don't. And that tech lab is definitely the weak point because you can probably get five or six zealots there. So now charge is, I believe it's done. Yes, it is. And so now I'm going to go in with my charge lots, and I start attacking the supply depot. And then, I really should have stopped attacking that right now, but I figured I might as well finish it off. And now I just pull away, because he's got too many reapers. There's no way my charge lots are going to break through. And now I know he's got reapers. And so now, I start getting stalkers. Because stalkers will do infinitely better against reapers than zealots. Because if you can micro reaper as well, zealots are darn near ineffective. But he still doesn't have the nitro packs. I only used the supply drop to make up for that extra supply depot he lost. See, and there I go for that supply depot. I should be going for that tech lab. Now I know he's got a lot more reapers than before, and he's got three barracks. Most of, most of them probably going to be pumping out reapers because they all have tech labs. And all rallied to the center of that little space so he's probably going to fly his reapers out of his base through here and then ooh, if I'm really unlucky might actually fly them straight down into here so he's getting a bunker down because he sees I'm putting on some early pressure so I'm usually a pretty aggressive player I don't like to sit around and wait for the macro I like to get in there try to take my opponent out and sometimes it comes to bite me because I lose all my units in the initial attack and then they can just macro up and win. But for the most part it's more fun for me to play this way. So I got a lot of uh, stalkers out to counter these reapers and all these stalkers should easily be able to take out these reapers. So he's also got the um, D8 charge. Oh and now he has nitro packs finished. Or no, it's researching right now, isn't it? Oh no, it says it's... Oh, he does see that pylon. And he also snipes it out. So now I'm trying to chase down his reapers, but they have nitro packs, it's useless. So, but here's the thing, my probe actually intercepts the reapers right here. And so, I, I see them fly up onto this cliff. And so I know by this point that they're going straight for my mineral line. They're going to fly around here, fly around here, and abuse the cliffs to go straight for my mineral line with little to no chance of me intercepting them until they get into my base. So right now it's a race against the Reapers. You can see on the mini-map, they're getting closer to my base, but I'm pulling all my forces back to defend. I should be warping in more Stalkers at my base. Uh, yep, all my warp gates are charged, but oh, I don't have enough gas. I only have 90... I have enough for two stalkers right now for gas. So now, he's about to go in. And there go the reapers. But I positioned my units right at that cliff because I knew that's where he was coming from. So he tries to snipe some probes, but I blink straight into his reapers. I managed to take him out. Luckily he didn't actually do that much economic damage. My probes just sitting there for a couple seconds before I realized I pulled him off mining. So he actually didn't do that much damage to me. Now let's see if we can find a harvester count. Maybe army? No. 
income. There we go. So I actually have 14 harvesters and he has 16. So in terms of economy, we're almost even, even after that attack. Now I have 15. So I'm doing pretty well. I defended off his initial reaper attack. And he's getting marines now and more reapers, which not advisable when you know your opponent has blink stalkers out on the field. Should be going for marauders. He's got all these tech labs. He has the capabilities to mass marauders. But here I'm going in for the counter attack. Because I know that was probably most of his army. I think I'm just waiting to get a couple more units. I put the pylon here as well so I could uh, see if they get that Zelnaga tower. I'm actually not sure what I was waiting for. So I can break through right there, and he doesn't even have anyone in the bunkers. So there we go, I blink into his base. So completely negating that front wall in. And these two stalkers are really being lazy and should get into the fight. Ah, there's three more stalkers warping in up there. So just taking down the bunker to make sure he can't put any units from this barracks into that bunker. So here come the reinforcements. And at this point that's all he's got, but he does have these two starports and a banshee flying across towards my base. So, but I get the little message in game saying, your base is under attack. So I warp in two stalkers right underneath the banshee. And tell him to attack. So the Banshee is trying to fight my Stalkers, tried to fly away, fling towards the Banshee, take him out. My Stalkers are still in his base, wreaking havoc. And now he goes straight for the Starport, because I know he's going to get more Banshees out. And then he leaves the game. So, that was a very action-packed game that I played. And I just thought it was a very fun game to watch, because it was very fun to play. Uh, it was just not really too many dull moments and uh, that initial reaper harass was uh, pretty intense because he sent like 10-15 reapers into my base and uh, it's pretty easy to tell where they were coming from because the only cliffs leading anywhere near my mineral line are right here so you can pretty much assume that since he's flying up these cliffs he's going to be going around here and down through here so that was a very good game and uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time